Hello. Today I wanted to talk about the subconscious mind. It's a something that truly amazes me. Um, the subconscious mind is, is really important because it's what controls 95% of your decision. That's why when you take a decision to, let's say, go to the gym or uh, to read more often, it doesn't work very long because 95% of your mind is controlled by your subconscious mind. Uh, so you take the decision consciously with the 5%. But the 95% has a lot of impact. So uh, the way to know about those invisible subconscious beliefs is to look at the areas in your life that are not working as you'd like them to be. So for example, uh, if I'm single, then probably I have limiting beliefs in my relationships. Uh, if I have a lot of debt, then probably I have limiting beliefs in the wealth area, and my, relationship, my relationship with abundance. Um, so once you find what areas you want to work on, then you need to reprogram yourself. And the way to do that, it's, it's simple, uh, but it's difficult at the same time because it's, it takes a lot of time, it's uh, through repetition. So the same way that you learned your first language, it was through repetition. Um, first you learned words like mother, and, and because it was repeated over and over, over to you, and then you started to associate that person with your mom. And, and then it came the more complex uh, ideas like, oh, you're just like your father and you're worth nothing or you're worth a lot. And, and oh, wow, you're so good at math. And all that it, it came, became your internal programming and your subconscious mind. And that's why you repeat over and over the successes in math or the failures in your relationship or anything like that because it's all programmed into you. So the way to reprogram that is to go the same way that you learned it initially, it's through repetition. So when you repeat something over and over to you, uh, you start changing uh, your subconscious beliefs. And uh, you can do it through affirmations, so you can tape or record yourself on a cell phone maybe and, and play that over and over to you. Uh, there's uh, hypnosis as well, which is really interesting, I'm trying that at the moment. So to, to affirm positive um, beliefs that are better than your existing ones. Also the handwriting is very, uh, is very good technique because uh, when you think about it, your, hand your handwriting is unique. And if you try to reproduce someone else's handwriting, it's really difficult. But your own, it's all automatic. It's all through, done through the subconscious mind. So if you write something over and over, uh, that will sink in your subconscious mind as well and uh, that will eventually change the limiting belief. So all these techniques are really simple. What's difficult is, is the long-term part because you have to do it for a certain time before you see the results and the change. And you won't have, most of the time, you won't have a big dramatic change. It will just change incrementally, gradually. So that's the tough part. So you have to find ways on, to motivate yourself to, to do that on the long run and um, in other videos, I will give you some tips and tricks on how to have more persistence in uh, changing your subconscious mind. So that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed it and that the information was valuable to, the, to you. So um, thank you.